What is going on, Renee Nation? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel, man. So we'll be react. We'll be. We will be reacting to ten wrestlers who looks nothing like they did at their peak. Now, if you remember, Kane. Kane did not look nothing like at their peak. I mean, Kane. He played as a. Um, I remember his uh, first character wasn't even Kane. It was somebody else. Uh, I didn't know um, who else. Um, uh, probably Undertaker. I saw from the thumbnail Undertaker. Um, hmm. that's a lot of good questions. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into this video. If you haven't, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, get get to 10, 10, 10, 000 subscribers, bro. Most definitely, we're gonna be getting there soon, man. You guys have been supporting me, man. I've been boosted up, and you know this has been crazy. So let's check this out. I'm ready to hear what they have to say. Let's get it. When you're a superstar in the WWE, your look is almost as important as your ability to wrestle, and the stars on our list all had some pretty iconic appearances during their primes. However, once WWE stars leave the ring for good, they often, for better or for worse, start to look very different. For this mm -hmm. list, we're taking a look at 10 wrestlers who look nothing like they did at their peak. Enjoy the video and be sure to let us know which one of these stories was your favorite. Once you're done watching, make sure you subscribe to the Sportster and join the notification squad. Stacy Keebler. Although Stacy Keebler is only in her mid 30s, her wrestling days are long behind her, as she's already been retired from the WWE for almost a decade. But even though Keebler is a retired athlete, she seems to actually be getting hotter with age. She won the <laughs> WWE Babe of the Year award back in 2004, and she looks so much better these days, and that's after she's become a mother. Keebler's devotion to fitness is impressive, and it's definitely paying off, as she's currently sporting sexier abs than when she was in the ring. If you were a guy who was crushing on Stacy Keebler during her wrestling, career, we can only imagine like. how you feel about her these days. The Undertaker Ever mm. since 1984, when he debuted as Texas Red, Mark Calloway, or as most people know him, The Undertaker, has been one of the most iconic wrestlers the WWE has to offer. Fans right. may be surprised, however, at just how much the superstar's look has changed over the years. In college, yeah. he was actually much slimmer and had ginger hair, and in the early years of his pro wrestling career, he was super jacked and was also sporting a deathly look. Mm. Fast forward to today, and The Undertaker is starting to show his age as his muscles have become much less defined and his skin is beginning to wrinkle. He has been a staple of the WWE for decades now, yeah, and even true. though his looks are fading, it seems like he's keen to keep going strong. Oh, yeah. CM Punk when CM Punk was fighting in the WWE, he made it very clear that he didn't actually like working out, and his average Joe physique ended up being a pretty big problem when he had to face off against the likes of John Cena and Brock Lesnar. Still, Punk was able to achieve quite a bit of success in the WWE, but when he decided to jump ship over to the UFC, he had no choice but to get ripped. CM Punk showed up to the weigh-in looking noticeably leaner and more muscular than he was in the WWE, uh, but unfortunately, his efforts in the gym couldn't help him from losing his debut match in just man, over two minutes. Leave him alone. Regardless of the result, we have to hope that CM Punk is at least happy with his new ripped physique. He, he Trish Stratus. Is. Trish Stratus is yet another case of a she WWE looks older. diva who's actually gotten hotter with age, well, which is crazy because she was pretty damn sexy during her days in the ring. Stratus claims that her remarkable aging is mostly due to her commitment to yoga, and the former wrestler has actually opened up her own yoga studio in Toronto called Stratosphere. Stratosphere. Trish has been able to maintain her famous curves while also developing some seriously toned abs. <laughs> if Trish Stratus is a good example of what yoga will do to your aging body, then you can sign us up for her next class. Right. Alundra Blaze. WWE diva and Hall of Famer Deborah Michelli is probably better known to wrestling fans as Alundra Blaze, or even Medusa. In the 80s and 90s, she was one of the most popular and memorable women in wrestling, winning lots of titles. But these days, she is almost unrecognizable. Alundra Blaze was known more for her wrestling skills than her looks, but there's no denying that she wasn't half bad to look at in those diva outfits. <laughs> Unfortunately for her, her looks have seriously faded off in recent years, and she definitely looks much older than her age. Michelli mm -hmm. has been retired for quite a while now, so we can't blame her too much for letting herself go. But it's still shocking to see such a drastic physical change. It happened. Triple H. Back in the early 2000s, Triple H began to pack on some serious pounds, and it looked like the aging superstar was destined to join the list of former wrestlers who now look terrible. Something must have clicked for Triple H though, because he totally reverted that trend and now looks better than ever. The star is now in his late 40s, and he is arguably in the best shape of his life, and apparently can put up some outrageously big numbers at the gym. We aren't mm. sure what exactly prompted Triple H to turn himself into the picture of fitness that he is today, but we have to think that having Vince McMahon as a father-in-law has 
definitely had an effect over the WWE legend. True. Missy Hyatt. Missy Hyatt has been very famous in the world of female wrestling for over 30 years now. Missy was an excellent wrestler who achieved a lot of success in her prime, and she looked absolutely stunning <laughs> doing it. Unfortunately, like so many other aging divas, she has not aged well at all, and she's a great example of what happens when you get far too much plastic surgery too quickly. Her look is very unnatural these days, and she definitely doesn't have any of the sheer sex appeal that she had back in she her like Miley Cyrus On top of this physical decay, Hyatt has also found herself getting in trouble with the law in recent years, which is definitely not a good look on anyone. Dang. The Rock. Dwayne Johnson's goal was always to become a wrestler like his father, Rocky Johnson, but we think it's safe to say that his career definitely surpassed that of his dad's. Oh, yes. The Rock achieved incredible success, and that's probably mainly because he's built like a Greek god. That being said, Johnson's physique and overall look has definitely fluctuated over years. During his prime in the WWE, Johnson was rocking a more lean body. But if you take mm -hmm. a look at him these days in movies like Baywatch, is, The Rock is looking is absolutely enormous. Is Hollywood and the WWE <laughs> may have turned The Rock into one of the biggest stars in the world, but he'll always be the goofy kid from the fanny pack photo to oh, us. Well. Terry Runnels. Terry, Terry Runnels is another classic horror story of a WWE diva getting way too much surgery done and having it backfire to make the person look much worse than they did before. The diva used to be <sighs> legitimately stunning and was the adoration of wrestling fans worldwide, but these days she's looking pretty dreadful. Runnels is now in her 50s, so it makes sense that she I mean, has she aged would, quite she a bit. Right. The problem is, is that she has aged in some very unnatural and unattractive ways. Seeing Terry Runnels look the way she does these days really is a shame, as there was a time when she was one of the most beautiful women in the world of sports. Well, Jillian Hall. In the early 2000s, oh yeah, Jillian her. Hall was the, the one that can't sing. image of a WWE diva. She was a blonde bombshell with a curvaceous body that all the boys adored, and she was even awarded the honor of Divas Champ before leaving the WWE in 2010. Unfortunately, all of her parts that the boys loved so much weren't so natural, and all of the plastic surgery that Jillian Hall had isn't looking too good these days. Wow. She's still young and she still looks okay, but she is definitely looking older than her age, and we're guessing that things will just continue to go downhill Didn't in even the coming realize years. It's surgery. sad to see such an icon of beauty begin to slip so young and start to look nothing like she did at her peak. So there you have wow. it. There is our list of 10 wrestlers who look nothing like they did at their peak. Which <sighs> one of these entries shocked you the most? What other wrestler body transformations do you know about? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below the one and be sure to subscribe to the Sports Dirt for more awesome, awesome videos. I'm, trying to look at them. I'm looking back at them. Now. These was interesting. Terry Ronalds now. Uh, she really didn't shock me super. Sh she didn't sh I mean, I thought she first, like, at first I thought it was like weird, but she, uh, now Jillian Hall, I didn't know she, I didn't know she had plastic surgery. Now what was this other girl's name? Oh my God, uh, what's her name? Uh, Missy Hyatt, Hyatt, Missy. I'm gonna say Missy. So I knew who she was, but you know I don't ever look at people like after the WWE days, not not as too much. But when I saw her, oh my God, I'm like she let herself go, plastic surgery, Jesus Lord. I don't know what some of these like girls trying to do plastic surgery. I was actually watching a video yesterday where Nikki Bella was like, you know, she's happy about her plastic surgery. She she paid like sixty, I mean, she played uh sixty five hundred for sixty five hundred for her surgery or whatever. It's expensive, but I feel like you should just be happy for real for what you what you got and stuff like that. You know, you know, if people tell you you look good, I mean, don't try to get surgery. I mean, I mean, I understand you don't feel comfortable in your own, you know yourself but you know at least be happy you know once in a while with yourself but a lot of these you know were interesting like CM Punk now CM Punk yeah I do I did know he looked a lot of ripped now uh he looks more ripped now but back then yeah he really didn't care about his like look he was just like he rocked the, you know you know a little fat on him or whatever um Triple H yeah he he went to being buff to being a little fat and then went right back to being ripped so it was like a lot of these transformations were pretty good like The Rock I think The Rock the Rock was one of them that had the biggest transformation because if you've noticed an attitude there, he was not ripped at all. Like he didn't start getting ripped until like probably, you know, like in the late 2000s, probably in the middle of the 2000s. That's when he started getting really ripped because he really he never really had that big, he never really had that ripped muscle type look until you know he you know he became officially the rock and started doing movies and stuff but hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as well let's get to 10 to 10 to 10 thousand subscribers you guys have been supporting me 100 now i will see you guys later peace out nation
I'm willing to die for this shit. I done cried for this shit. Might take a lie for this shit. Put the Bible down and go out for a knife for this shit. DOT, my enemy, won't catch a vibe for this shit. Ayy, I've been stumped out in front of my mama. My daddy commissary made it to commas. Bitch, all my grandma's dead. So ain't nobody praying for me. I'm on your head. Ayy, 30 millions later, no the feds watching. Auntie on my telegram, like, be.